Meanwhile, the minority is predicting an even harsher economic climate that will span at least the next four years. Minority spokesperson on finance, Kassil Atufosan, said government will need at least 200 billion CDs to fix the situation. He also warned government to resist the urge to restructure only its local debts. We need to do 8% of primary surplus every year for four years. So colleagues, Ghana should brace for serious austerity in the coming years for the next four years or more. The mess they have met, they have created, is said like that they will leave office and it will, their shadow will follow any government that comes after them. Commercial lenders and others will have to accept a reduction in interest and principal payment or risk default or non-payment. So the question is, you accept the haircut no matter how bad it is, it doesn't matter whether you get ugly, because obviously, if you don't accept it, then there will be non-payment. So I would prefer to be ugly than not to get my money at all, because I will starve to die. You make your debt sustainable by doing all what you, it takes to get debt relief of 200 billion Ghana cities and to bring it to 55% of GDP. The board will not sit and you will not get a dime from the IMF. And I repeat, you will not get a dime from the IMF. Within 20 years, Ghana is moving from heavily indebted poor country, HIPIC, to sovereign insolvency stress. So the problem now is no longer HIPIC. We are in SIS, sovereign insolvency stress. We in the minority recommend a set of policy options for government. And we demand, we demand urgent consideration. This country belongs to all of us.